Maka's guides. <laughs> Hey everyone, Mac here, continuing on with Zombie Army 4 Collectibles Guide. This is Mission 7. Uh, I forget what the mission's called. I think it has a long name called, like, All Roads Lead to Hell. Nonetheless, near the very beginning of Chapter 1, you'll drop down a small ledge. And instead of going forward towards our objective, make sure you turn around and go down this optional path to find a comic book at the end. You'll then reach a large room where your objective is to regroup at the hut. Before doing that, you want to grab the two collectibles in this area. One of them is the zombie hand that runs back and forth on top of the hut. Feel free to use slow-mo and zoom in extra far in order to make sure you get that shot, which isn't too bad. Additionally, in this large area, you can also find a weapon kit. I'd recommend grabbing it before you trigger the detonator. So go to the hut and through the hut. And behind it, you should notice that the path kind of continues, and there is a small cave system where you can actually walk into. So if you go through that, and at the very end, you'll find a weapon kit sitting at the bottom left-hand corner on the ground there. You'll eventually reach the end of the mission. You'll notice my objective is to get to the safe room, but before exiting, make sure you take a small little optional path off to the left here once you reach the stairs in order to find a document sitting at the end of the path on the floor. Right at the beginning of chapter two, as soon as you start, you should drop down a ledge. And as soon as you drop down that ledge directly in front of you and to your left, you'll find a document. The next couple collectibles are all found very close by, not too far from here. I have taken out some enemies. But from that comic book, for, uh, from that document from where we started, we can run forward and take your first left-hand turn. And then once you reach the end of this pathway, you should notice a comic book just sitting off to the right-hand side. Make sure you pick up the comic book, and we'll also grab the other two collectibles pretty much in the same area. Now from that comic book, he comic book head back in the direction where we came from. So back to that main path. And instead of going left, which is where we are now, Imagine we went right, so go right across uh, the hallway, and you'll notice that there is a second valve here we'll need to destroy. And right next to the second valve, or it might be your first one depending on what order you do them in. Um, next to the valve, though, you should be able to find a weapon upgrade kit. So here's the valve, and then just off to the other side is the weapon upgrade kit. So make sure you grab it before you leave this area. You'll have to end up in this room either way. Last but not least, we will go for the zombie hand. So, there are three valves in the area. The furthest valve, uh, for me, was this one. So, you'll follow the yellow pipe, you'll follow the arrows, and eventually end up at the valve at the far end of the area. And just above the area on the open uh, piping, the yellow piping, we can grab the zombie hand. In Chapter 3, you'll end up in the large blood fountain area. We've taken out all of the enemies, and this door in the back right corner should now be open. If we go inside, we should be able to grab a comic book before proceeding to the next area. Once you reach the next area, right in the middle, I believe this is called an obelisk. At the very top of this kind of monument, you will find the zombie hand, so make sure you take it out. You will then have the objective of meet up with the advance squad. What you want to do here is just sprint towards the objective. And as soon as you're about to reach this objective, make sure you take out any zombies who have made it near this NPC. As long as he survives, which is very likely, you will get the heroic action to complete. I've then waited to complete all my objectives and all I have left is to get to the safe room. From where we entered the area, work your way down the stairs and to the left and then grab up onto the ledge to end up in the far left corner from where we entered. Here we can find a weapon kit. From that weapon kit, before exiting, make sure you pick up the document, which will be found as you approach the safe room. Go across the bridge and stay to the left. 
near the secondary ammo refill station, we can find a document before we go on to chapter 4. Chapter 4 is kind of one small circular area where you do a little bit of a horde style mission. As soon as we start, look directly in front of you on the telephone lines across the area in order to spot the zombie hand, which apparently I always miss at least once in every video. Then what we can do is work our way down and go to the right. Make sure you hug the wall and you will find a weapon kit pretty obviously directly in front of you as you enter an overhang. Then if we continue along this path and stay to the right hand side again, we can find a document sitting in the corner right here just behind this little pole. And proceed hanging along the right hand side of the wall until you find a comic book and then feel free to finish off the mission and go for mission 8. Thank you so much for watching. If the video was helpful, make sure you drop a like. Consider sharing the video with a friend. Special thanks to everyone on Patreon for supporting the show. And hopefully I see you soon. Peace.